What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome inside the film room presented by Miller Lite. I'm your host, Fran Duffy. Today, we are going to take our final look at the Eagles free agent class of 2020, and we're going to wrap things up here with the guy that they started it off with, Javon Hargrave, the defensive tackle that the Eagles signed on the first day of free agency from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I've been a fan of Hargrave going back to his days at South Carolina State. This guy is explosive, really quality athlete. Now, the problem is he has not always been, in, been put into a position to put those athletic traits on display playing for that Pittsburgh Steelers scheme because he was asked to do some different things than what he'll be asked to do here in Philadelphia. We're going to start things off with this play against the Cleveland Browns. And this is how he was used in their base 3-4 scheme. He's the nose tackle here, head up on the center. And in this role, on most snaps, he's supposed to handle two gaps, both A gaps on either side of the center. And this will help keep those linebackers clean so that they're free to make plays. They're not responsible for one of those A gaps because Hargrave has those gaps that's locked down. Now, this is going to be a zone run to the defense's right side, and I just want you to watch how light Hargrave is on his feet. He stays square to the line of scrimmage, he keeps his eyes in the backfield, gives up no ground, and puts himself in position to make this play behind the line of scrimmage. Now, that's how he was used most often with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Just basically occupying gaps, right? Making sure that guys aren't free to get up to the linebackers, and he's playing the run on his way to the quarterback. Run first, pass second. That won't be the case here because every once in a while in Pittsburgh, you got to see him where he was able to just kind of pin his ears back and get after the quarterback. This guy has some serious juice. Now, he showed that on passing downs with the Steelers, with the Eagles. He's going to be asked to do that on every single play. So, for a little taste of what we're going to see, watch this play against the Cleveland Browns. And this is a different game though than that first one, but I want you to focus in on his right hand. See where it's planted right there on the ground? One of the things I like to do when watching defensive linemen is get a sense of how explosive they are with that first step. You want that first foot forward to at least replace that hand. So it should at least go to the same yard marker that his hand is at. What you love to see is guys that can surpass that and gain more ground with that first step. Watch here with Hargrave. He does more than just replace. See that? He gained almost a full yard at the snap of the ball. And he flies upfield. He threatens the outside shoulder of the guard. And then it's game, set, match. He works the outside half of this lineman. He's got no base, no anchor. Hargrave gets home easy for the sack. And we'll see something similar here on this play against the Rams. Again, here's Hargrave. Again, you notice the difference here on this play from that first one, right? He's at a three technique here between the guard and the tackle. He's not head up over the center like that first play against Cleveland. This is a passing down. He's rearing to go after the quarterback. Watch the get off here. The guard barely gets a hand on him. He flies into the backfield, delivers a huge hit on Jared Goff as he's getting rid of the football. That speed, that initial quickness, that burst off the line, that is consistent when you watch him on film. This guy flies out of his stance and opponents have to respect it. And the best part about that is he knows they have to respect it. And just like a, a pitcher in baseball who's got a great 98 mile per hour four seam fastball, what makes a pitcher great? Having that quality change up or a curveball, right? That's exactly what Hargrave has. We're gonna show you here on this play against Jacksonville. Again, he's a three technique. He's going to fly out of his stance here and attack that inside gap with his first step. And look at the right guard. He's preparing to punch quickly because he has to respect that speed. He has got to get his hands on Hargrave in a hurry if he has any chance of impeding his progress. But watch the athleticism here from Hargrave because he's not going to attack that inside gap. No, watch him instead put his foot in the ground and swim past the guard, explode through the B gap, and look at this freeze point here. Look at that lower body flexibility to turn the corner. That's the kind of stuff I usually point out with defensive ends, not defensive tackles. Hargrave turns the corner and gets home for the sack once again with a great changeup off that speed rush. This just gives you an idea of how athletic Hargrave is. This is why the Eagles targeted him early on in free agency, because what he was in Pittsburgh, getting after the quarterback, could be so much more in this Eagles scheme. I cannot wait to see him paired alongside some of these studs on the Eagles D-line with Fletcher Cox and Malik Jackson and Derek Barnett and Brandon Graham. It's going to be so much fun to watch here in 2020. Thanks so much for joining us once again here on the Film Room presented by Miller Lite. We'll see you next time here on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.